Hey everybody, this is going to be a little review from last class um, on the angles and angle relationship lesson. Um, this was your angles exit slip that you had to do in Edge Elastic, so I just wanted to go over it. Um, and then today's lesson is going to be um, you basically just doing more practice problems, um, like a quiz. Normally how we would do a quiz in class, except it's going to be an Edge Elastic, okay? So let's start out with problem number one. It says the measure of angle AOC is 90 degrees. So first of all, we need to find the measure of angle AOC. What is angle AOC? Well, it's AOC. O is the vertex right here, and we know that that is going to be 90 degrees. So that tells us. So I'm going to draw a little box in that to, to remind myself that that is 90 degrees. It says find the value of X. So as of right now, we have two angles in this 90 degree angle. You have a 14 degree angle and you have a 3x plus 46 degree angle. So, and that is a plus sign. It looks kind of hard to read. But you have 3x plus 46 and 14 that make up that 90 degree angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to first of all add those two angles together. 3x plus 46 plus 14. And that's going to equal 90 degrees. Now, we're going to solve this equation, and we're going to solve for x. Circle your terms. You have 3x, you have 46, and you have 14. Now, we're going to combine our like terms. Your like terms are 46 and 14, so 46 plus 14, and you got 60, and then we have 3x. So 3x plus 60 equals 90. All right, so at this point, you now circle your terms, and you will solve your equation. Subtract 60. We're moving that constant on both sides. That cancels out. 3x equals 30. Divide by 3 on both sides, and x is going to equal 10. So your answer for this one should have been B. All right, number two. Number two says, in the below figure, what is the value of QPR, of angle QPR? I'm sorry, let me move this down. In degrees, if angle SPQ is a straight line. Okay, so we first of all need to understand what a straight line is. A straight line is 180 degrees every single time. So we want to find the measure of QPR. So let's see what that is. QPR. That is this angle right here. So we're going to make that an X because we don't know the measure of that. And then we have 119 on the other angle. So if the straight line equals 180 degrees, then those added together will equal that 180 degrees. They are both on that line. They're both coming from that line. So there's supplementary angles here. 119 plus X equals 180. We'll circle our terms, and then we would subtract 119 from both sides. 180 minus 119 is gonna equal to 61. So that cancels out, so X is equal to 61. All right, number three. Number three says, consider the following figure and find the value of V. So here's our figure. Remember, these are intersecting lines. With intersecting lines always comes two angles. You have vertical angles, which are angles that are equal to each other. So your angles are equal. And then you get supplementary uh, angles and those angles add to equal 180. You'll usually not have complementary angles when it comes to um, intersecting lines, and that means just where the lines intersect like that. So we wanna look at these. Here's the angle V and here's 50 degrees. Um, just visually looking at them, they are the same. So we know we would not add these together to equal 180. These are not supplementary. The supplementary angle to 50 degrees is gonna be this big one right here, but we don't have to find that big one. 
We want to just look at them. We know they're across from each other. They share a vertex, but they don't share a side of the angle. 50 has these two sides, and V has these two sides. So these would be called vertical. They make a V when they lay on each other, okay? So 50 degrees is equal to 50 degrees. So the answer would be 50 degrees, the measure of V. Number four, find the value of X in the figure. Once again, this is a straight line. And these angles, two of these angles are coming off that straight line. They make a half circle. Those two angles added together will equal 180 degrees because straight lines are 180 degrees. So we have 57 plus, and I know you really can't see it too well in this video, but that says X plus 23 is going to equal 180. Circle, circle, circle those terms. So now we're going to add them together. If you add them together to combine like terms, 57 and 23, you're going to get 80 plus our X is going to equal 180. Circle your terms. Subtract your constant because it was, be, it was a positive over here, and you're going to get 100. So x is going to equal 100. Now, it does say find the value of x, so x is 100 degrees. Be careful on these type of questions because sometimes it will say find the value of that whole entire expression or that whole entire angle. And if that were the case, we would take 100 and put it in for x and then solve that way. But it doesn't. It just says solve for x. All right, number five, what is the value of Q? Okay, so we have three angles. We have 52 degree angle, we have 58 degree angle, and we have a Q angle. We just wanna find the value of Q. Well, once again, these all three of these angles are sitting on this straight line right here, so they'll equal 180 degrees. So we add 52 plus 58 plus Q. And then we're gonna circle into combined like terms. 52 plus 58 plus Q. When we add our constants, 52 and 58, you get 110 plus Q equals 180. And then subtract 110 from both sides. Just like we're solving, this is a normal, you know how to solve equations. This is old stuff. Subtract 110 from both sides, and you'll get 180 minus 110, and that gives us 70 canceled out so Q is going to equal no you can't see that too well sorry Q is going to equal 70 degrees all right number six choose the pair of complementary angles remember guys complementary angles are going to be the angles that add to equal 90 degrees supplementary angles are going to be the ones that add to equal 180 I taught you a little trick last class when I said with complementary, think of the CO, you can turn it into a 90, so you know it's 90. Supplementary, you can turn that S into an 8, put a 1, there's your 0. So that's 180. That's just something to kind of remember. Um, so choose the pair of complementary angles. So we have angles that are 29 degrees, you have 23 degrees, 7 degrees, and 61 degrees. We need two, because it's a pair of complementary angles, that add to equal 90. So let's look at the first one, AOB. AOB is this 29 degrees. So AOB and XOZ. Well, XOZ is this one, which is 7 degrees. I don't even have to add that up because I know that 29 plus 7 does not equal 90, so I'm going to skip that one. AOB here is 29 degrees, and NOM, NOM is this one right here. N O M, and that's 61 degrees. I am going to add those together. 29 plus 61 equals 90 degrees. So we got it. It should be B. All right, uh, and you can look at the rest of them. P O Q, P O Q is this one, so that's 23, and X O Z is this, and that's 7, so that's wrong. N O M is this one, 61, and X O Z is 7. So that would only be about 68. This is only going to be 30. This up here would be 36. So that's why B is your answer. Those are the only two that add to equal 90. Find the measure of B. So this one's a little different. This does not add these two angles together to equal 180 degrees. This is a complementary angle. How do I know that? Well, I'm looking at a square right here or part of a square. That is a 90 degree angle. 
Well, if both of these angles are within that 90 degree angle, then they're going to add to equal 90. So we have B plus 63 is equaling 90 degrees. Circle your terms and subtract your 63. That's going to cancel out. B will equal 90 minus 63, which is going to be 27. So A is going to be your answer on that one. And number eight. Number eight says find the value of X in the following figure. This one's a little harder. This is going to be, you're going to see a lot of these today, so pay very close attention. And I'll do one more example like this in a second. It says find the value of X in the following figure. There's a lot of stuff you've got to recognize about this. One is it has a 90 degree angle right here. So we can go ahead and put 90 degrees right there. Then you need to recognize that this also has two other angles. It has an angle right here, which is 6x plus 2. It has an angle right here, which is 40. And then, of course, it has this angle right here, which is 90. If you notice what I just made with my pen there was a half circle. All three of those angles are coming off of the same straight line. So therefore, they're going to add to equal 180. So we could add all of those right there to equal 180 degrees. So we have 90 plus 40 plus 6x plus 2. And it's going to equal 180 degrees. Why is it 180 degrees? Because those are all supplementary angles. Supplementary angles don't just have to be two angles. It could be two or more angles added together to equal 180. And that goes for complementary too. It's not just two angles necessarily. A lot of the times it is, but it can be two or more added together to equal 90 degrees. Okay, so at this point, we're going to have to work this big equation. We're going to circle our terms. And then combine our like terms. Our like terms here are the 90, the 40, and the 2. So 90 plus 40 plus 2 is 132 and then we have our 6x and that's going to equal 180. Circle your terms. 180 minus 132 is going to give you 48. So 6x, so I'd subtract 132 from both sides. 6x is going to equal 48 and then we would divide both sides by 6 because that's multiplication. You divide to get rid of it. 48 divided by 6 is going to be 8. Now, all it says is to find x in the following. We found x. But let me give you another example. Sometimes it's going to say find the value of this angle. This angle might be talking about that right there. So if that's the case, and we are supposed to find the angle measurement of that exact angle, we would take 6x plus 2, and we're going to insert 8 in for the x. So 6 times 8 plus 2. 6 times 8 plus 2 is going to be 50. That means this angle right here actually does equal 50 degrees. Now we can check our work by adding 50, 40, and 90 together. If we do that, we should get 180. If you don't, then you know you've done something wrong. All right, so to finish out this little example here, I was going to do another one of these. I um, wasn't going to do all of them, just one. Okay, so this one right here. Let me adjust my camera for a second. All right, so it tells you right now the measure of AOC is 90 degrees. So AOC is this whole thing right here. Find the value of M, then find the measure of each angle. All right, so this is a multi-step problem. So we first got to find the value of M, and then we're going to find the measure of each angle. So all three of these angles, you're either going to add them to equal 90 degrees, you're going to add them to equal 180 degrees, or you're going to set them equal to each other. What would be the smart thing to do in this situation? Well, let's look at the type of angle. Pull your eyes out, look at the overall angle, you see that it is a square or the corner of a square. You see that it has this 90 degree angle right there. That square means 90 degrees. So we will add m plus 7 plus 2m plus 11 and it's going to equal 90 degrees. So now we just have to solve to get for m. 
circle your terms. You have m, 7, 2m, and 11. Combine your like terms first. We have an m here and a 2m here, so that's 3m's. And then we have a 7 here and 11 here, and that's 18. And that's going to equal 90. So now we have a two-step equation at this point. Circle your terms. You're going to take your constant first and move it. We're going to do that by subtracting that because we were adding 18. So now we'll subtract it. 90 minus 18 is going to give me 72. And then I'm going to divide by 3. And you're going to get m equals 24. So we have the answer of m equals 24. Now that does not mean that each of those angles equal 24. What that means is that just the m's equal 24. This angle right here is still 11 degrees. There's no m in that angle. This one right here is going to be 2 times 24. Why is it 2 times 24? Because this right here is 2 times m. And if we replace the m with 24, you're going to get 2 times 24, which would be 48 degrees. So that whole angle is actually 48 degrees. And then we have m plus 7. m here is going to be 24 again, plus 7. And when we do 24 plus 7, you're going to get this whole angle is 31 degrees. Now, to double check to make sure you've done this right, if we solve for m correctly, then when we add all three of these angles together, they should equal 90 degrees. So 31 degrees, 48 degrees, and 11 degrees. I'm going to use my calculator. 31 plus 48 plus 11 equals 90 degrees. So you know you did it correctly. All right, guys, email me with any questions you might have. That is it for the video today. Your assignment is on Edge Elastic, and it is called Angles Practice. It is due on Wednesday at 11 p.m. I extended the time um, for A Day and Thursday. Nope, I'm sorry, I got those dates wrong. It's due on Friday at 11 p.m. for A Day and Saturday at 11 p.m. for B Day. All right, y'all have a good day.